Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-4749. Item Number SCP-4749 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures The Northrop Hotel has been purchased by the Foundation with all employee positions operated by undercover Foundation agents. The men's restroom of the second floor is to be closed off to the public and locked up citing sanitary issues as the reasoning. No other containment procedures are necessary. Update The men's restroom of the second floor has been sealed off with concrete in a new segment of the wall taking the restroom door's place. See Addendum 4749.02 for more information. Personnel are to ignore any sounds or noises that may emanate from the wall. Personnel are to remain observant of any unusual vermin, large holes, and foul-smelling odors and report these to the HMCL supervisor. Description SCP-4749 refers to an N-Motion brand paper towel dispenser a brand that specializes in cleaning products and a subsidiary of Georgia Pacific LLC, a company that specializes in the manufacturing and distribution of toilet and tissue paper, chemical products, and towel dispensers, located in the men's restroom on the second floor of the Northrop Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. The primary anomalous property of SCP-4749 manifests as a seemingly infinite amount of paper towels. Sheets removed from SCP-4749 are non-anomalous and do not appear to have any other function other than to dry human hands. SCP-4749's secondary anomalous property is the effect that occurs in its environment when the towel sheets are pulled. When pulled the restroom will simultaneously begin to degrade in condition depending on the amount of paper towels removed. As the restroom's form distorts, organisms and pests such as rats, cockroaches, and worms manifest. These animals are also affected by SCP-4749 as the entities begin to distort into grotesque and malformed creatures bearing little to no resemblance of their original forms. The only exclusion to this affliction is the entity pulling the paper towels. Why this only affects the immediate environment and all the Vermian entities produced and present is not fully understood. This effect can be reversed by rolling the paper towel roll back in its place, causing all deterioration within the restroom to gradually disappear. Vermin present during the sanitivic process will also be reversed to their original forms and vacate the restroom by crawling into any holes or openings that may still be present nearby, bringing the restroom to its original quality. Further description pending. Addendum 4749.01 Exploration Logs Exploration Video Log Transcript Subject, D-22222 Target, SCP-4749 Location, Second Floor Northrop Hotel, Las Vegas, Nevada Equipment, One Body Camera with Microphone Attachment and Earpiece Device Begin Log Step Inside the Room Please. D-22222 opens the door to the restroom and walks in. Please proceed to the paper towel dispenser on your left. D-22222 walks over to SCP-4749. He starts to look at himself in the mirror of the restroom, presumably to check for hidden cameras. Please pull. The paper towels. That's it. That's it. D-22222 grabs the paper towel and rips it out. The restroom mirror suddenly cracks. Jesus! What the hell was that? Just keep pulling. D-22222 complies and begins counting as he slowly pulls on the paper towels. The restroom slowly begins distorting. The lights start to dull and flicker, tiles begin to fall off, urinals and toilets start to leak, and the mirror's cracks start growing. Is? 
Is this actually happening? D2, how many paper towels have you pulled? I don't know, 12? Pull faster. D22222 continues pulling on the towels as the room begins to deteriorate. The mirror is now stained with oxidation and cracks, the walls now bleed from the crevices in the tiles as they fall, the wallpaper and ceiling paint starts bubbling and peeling off, and audible gurgling noises can be heard from the faucet sink. Suddenly D22222 jerks forward. What is it? Shit. D22222 looks over and there appears to be a large puddle of brown liquid touching the back of his shoes. Worms can be seen floating and writhing in the puddle. D22222 looks up and it appears that the fluid is leaking from the toilet stalls. D22222 begins coughing and gagging, presumably at the smell coming from the puddle. Jesus fucking Christ. Can I, pauses, can, pauses, can I stop? Can I, coughs, fucking shit. It's all over the fucking place, man. There's fucking worms in here. There's, wretches. All right, push the towel roll back. Coughs, what? You want me to do what? Push the roll inside the dispenser. W.H. what? Why? How how does that help? Push the roll back. Now. D22222 begins to push the roll back slowly. As he does this, the brown fluid and blood on the walls reverses back, the remaining residue left behind dries up and disintegrates, the cracks and oxidation on the mirror is restored, and the lights start growing brighter until the room is now clean and devoid of any smell. D22222 looks around in confusion. What the hell was that? What was that? D2, step outside for debriefing. This experiment is over. End log. Exploration video log transcript. Subject, D22222. Target, SCP-4749. Location, Second Floor Northrop Hotel, Las Vegas, Nevada. Equipment, One Body Camera with Microphone Attachment and Earpiece Device. Begin Log. Step inside the room and pull on the paper towels in the dispenser. D-22222 is hesitant at first but complies with the demand. He proceeds to slowly pull on the sheets causing the restroom to break down and deform itself. So how long do I have to keep doing this? Until I tell you to stop. D-22222 groans and sighs heavily into his microphone as he continues to pull. The restroom begins to degrade as wallpaper peels and the toilets start leaking the brown fluid again. The mirror oxidizes immediately and cracks. The crevices in the tiles start leaking blood. One of the tiles on the far left corner falls to the ground. D2, how many paper towels have you pulled? Um, 50. I see. Do you see the tile that just fell on the floor there? Yeah, why? Walk over to the area. D-22222 approaches the wall with the missing tile. There appears to be a mass of organic matter in the place of the tile. Jesus! What the hell is this? Can you describe it? It it looks like like flesh or muscle tissue. Dilating, living flesh. Uck! A cockroach flies past D-22222 as he recoils in disgust. All right. Go back to the dispenser. D-22222 goes back to SCP-4749 and starts pulling again. The restroom's interior proceeds to worsen as more tiles start falling out with the crevices bleeding profusely. Rats begin to swarm the urinals and the cockroaches start crawling out of the faucet sinks. Please man, 
Can I get out of here now? It's, pauses, I please. It's really bad in here, ma'am, cops. Smells like like, wretches. I've been holding my breath the whole time and, wretches. How many? W.H. what? How many have you pulled? 97. All right, I think, static, that's enough. Push, static, the roll back now. D22222 pushes the roll back, but no change is observed. Ah. D22222 pushes the towel roll back faster. Nothing happens. It's not, coughs, not working anymore. Did you touch some, static, thing? Did you break anything inside? No way. I just did what you said and and, wretches, it just, pauses, it isn't fucking working. Okay, just, static, just get out of there. D22222 attempts to open the door but it doesn't open. D22222 continues to twist the knob left and right as well as pushing and pulling the door in an attempt to open it. D22222's breathing gets more labored as he starts cursing and hitting the door. Fuck. I'm stuck. Get me out of here. Please. Calm down. We're trying to open the door on the other side. Just stay calm and don't touch anything. Containment units outside attempt to open the door using a lockpick set, but are unsuccessful. They proceed to use a sledgehammer and a fire axe to break both the door knob and the door itself to no avail. What's going on? I can hear you guys banging on the door. Is it working? In that moment, a dark puddle of blood, urine, and fecal matter seeps from the bottom of the door to the outside. The containment unit takes a step back. Help. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Let me out. Please. Please. D2, we're having T-static, trouble with the connection. I don't know if you can read us but we, static. We're having issues trying to secure a connection with you. Remain calm, we're trying, static, in to fix it. Just hold on. What? Fix it faster. I'm knee deep in, coughs, shit and piss. There's blood and shit every, wretches, oh, wretches, oh god, fuck. D2? D22222 lurches forward on his hands and knees in the fluid and begins to vomit for five seconds. The puddle of blood, urine, and feces has grown considerably larger now. Worms and cockroaches are now floating in the liquid. Sobbing frantically, fuck. Somebody PL, pauses, please help me. Please. 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 Connection lost. After losing contact with the subject, it was presumed that D22222 perished inside the room. With no way to access the restroom, it was proposed to close off the restroom from the public until further notice. Upon closure of the restroom, it was discovered that the logs from D22222 were saved and ported T degrees Celsius men automatically as part of a protocol in the event that the subject expire or the equipment malfunction. These provided a way to listen to D22222, however, contact with the subject could not be established. The following transcripts are the moments leading up to the final logs of D22222. No discernible dialogue can be heard from D22222. He continues to gag and choke while screaming for help and banging on the door. More screaming and crying from D22222. Gurgling noises are audible in the background. Assumed to be from the toilets nearby. He hello. Is this thing even on? Please, just let me out of here. 
Subject continues pleading for the next 10 minutes. God, please. Just fucking kill me already. Crying. I I I want to go home. God, please just fucking kill me already. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fucking, fucking shit. Fucking, fucking shit. Useless piece of fucking. D22222 continues to scream and curse for the remainder of the log. I think I cut myself. Dip my hand in the shit. Maybe I'll die faster if it gets in my nervous system. Can't smell it anymore. Either I'm getting used to it, or my sense of smell is destroyed. At least I can't smell the shit anymore. Slashing noises. I'm hungry, but they're covered in the shit and piss. Sloshing noises, taps not working. Neither are the urinals or the toilets. Please let me go. I'm already eating a rat. What more do you fucking bastards want from me? Fucking paper towels. Audible sobbing. Get. Splashing noises. Get the fucking fucking hell away from me you fucking shits. I remember her face, how her sweet cheeks caressed my own. I miss her. Retching. I miss her so much. Stop it. Glass shards aren't helping at all. Need to think, 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 think of a way. A rat's eating my toe. Have to keep going. This place. This tea I get I I get it now. I fucking get it already. This place won't let me out of here. I have to pull it. You, coughing, you you locked me up here. Yes. I get it now. You and that bastard doctor and those bastard men locked me up in this bastard room to rot. To rot in my own hell. You know? I did this. I did this. I, retching noises. I've been entombed in my own filth. The only way out is to pull. 22,219. 22,220. 22,221. 22,000, retching noises, 222. Hey, it's me. My, cough, number, the lucky number. Now I have to start over again. I shouldn't have pulled it but I have to keep going. It's the way out. It's the only way out. Note, this was the final message sent T degrees Celsius men before all contact with D22222 was lost. Addendum 4749.02 August 7, 2015 Incident On August 7, 2015, Foundation agents reported a foul-smelling odor emanating from the storage room in the third-floor kitchen. Upon investigation of the smell, it was discovered that the scent came from a large hole in the corner of the wall. Closer inspection of the hole prompted a massive influx of creatures resembling Vermean entities to spawn from the hole and overwhelm the kitchen and staff in the second and third floors of the hotel. Mobile Task Force Lambda 12, Pest Control, responded and were quickly dispatched to deal with the threat. The invading vermin present appeared to have physical traits and qualities similar to that of rats but grossly misshapen with matted fur and deformed features. Among these was the presence of insectoid legs and antennae, thick segmented tails, and human-like hands and faces. DNA testing of the creatures revealed a close relation to organisms belonging to the orders of Megadrylacia, Plutodia, Rodentia, and Primates. During cleanup, one of the creatures had a message carved into its abdomen with a small, sharp piece of a ceramic tile. The message is transcribed below. Rot with me in hell. 
Following this, containment procedures have been updated with the original hole sealed off with concrete. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts, leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.